Welcome back to our QuickBooks online tutorial series. Today we're diving into how to enter bills, which is a crucial step in managing your business expenses accurately. In QuickBooks online, bills are essential tools for managing your business's accounts payable. It represents what you owe to vendors or suppliers for products or services received but not yet paid for. This is crucial for maintaining accurate accounting records and ensuring that expenses are matched with the right accounting period under the accrual basis of accounting. When you enter a bill into QuickBooks, you're essentially logging a financial obligation that will impact your company's cash flow at a later date. This practice helps you keep track of your outstanding liabilities and manage your payments efficiently, avoiding late fees and maintaining good relationships with your suppliers. By recording bills as they're received, QuickBooks allows you to monitor your company's spending and manage its finances more effectively. Each bill entry updates your accounts payable, a balance sheet account representing the total amount your business owes to its vendors. When a bill is paid, QuickBooks decreases the account's payable balance and also records the reduction in your bank balance, reflecting the actual cash outflow. Entering a bill in QuickBooks Online starts by navigating to the New button located in the top left corner of your dashboard. From here, you will select the option for entering a bill a straightforward process similar to filling out other forms in QuickBooks, but specifically tailored for tracking expenses. When you open the bill entry form, the first thing you do is select the vendor who issued the bill. This automatically brings up details related to that vendor, like their predefined payment terms or the address, easing the process of bill entry. It's crucial to ensure these details are correct, as they dictate how and when the payment will be processed, affecting your cash flow management. In the bill form, you'll focus on two main sections. The first section is where you link the bill to specific categories from your chart of accounts. This is where you classify the expense, which could range from utilities to office supplies, directly linking the bill to an aspect of your business finances. The second section pertains to item details, useful if the bill includes particular items or services that are part of your inventory or recurring expenses. You would then proceed to fill in the details of the bill, including the amount and date. If applicable, add descriptions for clarity, such as the period that the service covers or additional notes relevant to the transaction. This makes tracking and referencing easier when reviewing financial statements or preparing for audits. Now, coming back to the top, let's start by identifying the vendor for which the bill is associated. Let's take an example of a bill we received from Lee Advertising. Once you select Lee Advertising from the Vendor drop-down menu, QuickBooks might automatically populate certain details like the mailing address, reflecting the vendor information already stored in your system. Now, it's important to review and adjust the terms and dates associated with this bill. For instance, if Lee Advertising offers net 10 payment terms, you'd set that accordingly to remind you when the payment is due. This helps maintain a clear schedule for your financial obligations. Additionally, input the bill date, which is the date you received the bill, and the due date, which is the last day you can make a payment before it's considered late. If the bill has a specific number, it's useful to enter it in the bill number field for easy tracking and reference. Moving to the Category Details section, this is where you classify the expense to ensure it's allocated to the correct account in your financial records. In our scenario, since the bill is for advertising expenses, you would select the Advertising category. Describing the bill in the Description field adds clarity. For example, noting it as Monthly Advertising Costs for January 2025 provides specific insight into what the expenditure was for and when. The amount of the bill is next. You should enter the total that Lee Advertising charged. Let's say it's $100. Make sure this amount aligns with the invoice to avoid discrepancies in your accounts. The billable, tax, and customer fields are additional details that depend on the nature of the bill and your business needs. If this expense is directly related to a service you'll charge a customer for, marking it as billable is appropriate. The tax field is crucial if the expense includes taxes that need separate tracking, ensuring accuracy in your financial statements and tax filings. Associating the bill with a specific customer is useful for tracking expenses related to particular projects or client accounts. When all the required information is accurately filled out, 
you have a few options for saving this information. Selecting Save and Schedule Payment can help manage cash flow by scheduling when the payment will leave your accounts, ensuring you don't miss any due dates. Opting for Save and New is beneficial if you have multiple bills to enter, streamlining the process by setting up the next entry immediately. Choosing Save and Close will record the bill and update your financial accounts accordingly. This action increases your accounts payable and the specific expense category, reflecting the new financial obligation. Let's save and close, and now we're back on the dashboard. Now what? Well, it's time to pay those bills. This part of managing your accounts ensures that your payments are organized and timely, maintaining good relationships with your vendors and suppliers. First, you access the bill payment feature in QuickBooks by navigating to the New button, typically found at the top left side of your dashboard. Select Pay Bills to start the process. This action takes you to the Bill Payment screen, a straightforward interface that lists all pending bills that need your attention. On this screen, the first step is selecting the payment account from which the funds will be drawn. This is crucial because it determines where your payment is coming from, whether it's your checking account, a credit card, or another type of account. Each option affects your financial reporting differently. For instance, paying from a checking account directly affects your bank balance, while paying via a credit card impacts your credit utilization and requires reconciliation in a different way. Next, you'll set the payment date, which QuickBooks will use to record when the transaction took place. The interface also offers a starting check number, which is handy if you're issuing physical checks. This helps keep your check sequencing correct and ensures that all payments are traceable. QuickBooks displays all the bills due or past due in a tabulated format, showing the vendor name, reference number, due date, and the status of each bill, like whether it's overdue or due soon. Each line item includes an open balance showing how much you owe. To process a payment, you simply check the box next to each bill you're ready to pay. QuickBooks automatically populates the payment amount, but you can adjust this if you're not paying the full amount right away. This flexibility helps manage cash flow, especially if you're dealing with large invoices or negotiating payment terms with suppliers. After selecting the bills to pay and confirming the amounts, you have several options. You can save the transactions and close out, or you can choose to save and print the checks immediately. If your business handles payments electronically, you might opt to save and schedule the payments online. Let's save and close. Once you confirm the payments, QuickBooks updates your accounts payable and bank account balances accordingly. This action decreases your accounts payable because you've settled debts, and it reduces your bank account balance by the total amount paid out. In essence, managing bill through QuickBooks not only helps keep your financial commitments in check, but also ensures that your accounting records are up to date reflecting the true financial state of your business at any given time. This systematized approach prevents late payments, helps in maintaining good vendor relationships, and supports effective cash flow management. And that's it for this video. If you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more insightful tutorials on QuickBooks Online and other financial management tips. Your support helps us create content that empowers you to manage your business finances more effectively. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you won't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.